Bonjour and uh, welcome to Epernay. I'm about to leave now for uh, an next day of cycling. Um, yeah, it's going to be about 100k, I think, going south towards Troyes, but uh, probably will end up in Romilly sur Seine. But uh, for now, let's go. Allons-y. Right, time for a little story, I think. The um, little hotel restaurant you see here is called uh, La Chaussée, uh, no, it's called Auberge de La Chaussée. Uh, it's in La Chaussée de Damarie, a very little village near uh, Epernay. Um, and I spent quite a few uh, meals there in the, in the 70s with my parents when we were uh, vacationing in the, in the area. And um, I would assume that everybody uh, that actually watches this channel has seen uh, Pulp Fiction at some point in their lives. Um, so you would know that we Dutch people, we like uh, mayonnaise and uh, for some bizarre reason Americans need ketchup with their uh, fries. Bizarre, but okay. Now, as a little child, of course, I wanted to have mayonnaise with fries as well. But in France, uh, certainly at the time, that was not a given. So whenever I ordered something uh, like some chicken with fries, um, they actually made from scratch mayonnaise for me. Of course, I didn't know that. I just t I just took that for granted. But uh, in hindsight, I mean, thumbs up for these guys. Probably completely different people by now, but uh, I have quite a few brilliant memories uh, in this restaurant as well and in the whole area. So I'm now heading towards Port à uh, I hope I can get there because the route apparently is closed, but I'm not quite sure which part. Um, the Port de Mousson was a campsite where we used to stay in, again in the 70s. So uh, I think it's, it had completely changed and in, in, is a port now, something. Uh, but uh, we'll see what it is. Um, the weather is overcast today, but uh, it's nice and warm. And uh, well, we'll see how it goes. That was my story of the day. So uh, talk to you later, bye. Oh, I can pass, so that's good news. <laughs> Check that bridge out. So, another nice cycle path along uh, the canal. The canal that's adjacent to the Marne River. Um, well, that um, 
It's no longer a function. seen a champagne grape yet well there's not no such thing as a champagne grape actually there's more varieties than just chardonnay but let's not get into that oh my So here we are. Finally, Champagne Vineyard. Uh, can't really tell which variety of grapes this is, but one of the four or five that go into a Champagne, I guess. Shh, it's Sunday. Quiet. Lovely. Right, Porta Benson. Well, there used to be a camping here uh, near the bridge, so uh, we'll go and check it out. Also, I seem to remember there was a, a restaurant on the corner, Le Soleil d'Or, Golden Sun, uh, where I learned to love vinaigrette. Well, one of those things. Anyways, um, talk to you later. So this used to be quite a lively street, but it has seen better days. And it's uh, unfortunate to see all these good things go, but uh, then again, that's just how it is. Uh, I'll just check out the campsite now, and uh, I'll then be on my way again. So, uh, see you later. Well, it's safe to say it has changed so much. There's still some caravans, so it's maybe a miniature campsite. There used to be a um, swimming pool there, and uh, cold showers, and a hole in the ground for, uh, for toilets. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if they've upgraded to hold from holes in the ground and cold showers to anything more luxurious. 
but I sure had good times. Porta Vincent. Well, it's been a long time. It will be a long time. Well, this is all that's left. Well, at least they've turned it into some sort of park. There's a few boats over there. Hmm. Of course, it looks so much smaller now. As a kid, you think it's a very big campsite, but <laughs> it's very small. Uh, anyways, I should be uh, moving south now, because uh, it's already quarter past 12. I haven't done... What have I done? Uh, 17k. Oh dear, that's not good. All right, I'll uh, I'll get it moving. Uh, talk to you later. Bye. Well, I'm in, uh, I'm still in Champagne. That is to say, I'm uh, south of Epane now. And uh, yeah, there's no shabby view. So this might be where your Champagne comes from. The only problem so far today is uh, to try and find uh, a place to eat for lunch. Couldn't find anything. Uh, Sunday is always a bit difficult, but th there are just no places, so no gas stations either. In fact, I, I, I believe yesterday and the day before, I did not see one gas station in the whole 100 kilometers that I cycled. So maybe I should add that to my routes because um, that's not very convenient. Uh, and I'm down on water again, so hmm. Uh, and this is unfortunately not yet drinkable, but. Uh, no, oh, can try. Um, yeah, I'll speak to you later. Bye.
I wonder what's over the top. The Tonkfis. Champagne. Oh. More champagne. Hey guys, just a little update. I am about 20k from my destination for today. It was an absolutely lovely ride in the rolling hills of the Champagne region. Uh, it was a bit warm, uh, not complaining, but uh, 
when you're out there in the open then uh, yeah it can get uh, very warm and I was out of water at some point but uh, just in the nick of time I found this little restaurant that uh, at least would serve me some drinks because uh, I don't know if you know this but in France uh, restaurants will uh, typically serve you between 12 and 2 and not a second later than 2 o'clock uh, but luckily because I was there I don't know 2 15 or so uh, I could still get some drinks and um, and water so that was very good um, I think by the end of the day I will have done 100k the destination of today is uh, Romilly sur Seine um, and um, yeah, then I'm going to plan for tomorrow and, and after, because uh, I don't know yet. Um, I do hope there's going to be some restaurants open, as it is a Sunday. And that's also a bit... Sundays and Mondays are also, always a bit tricky in France, in, in, in restaurants. In finding restaurants, but uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Um, so that's it for now, um, and um, I'll see you later. Bye! Regardant le mur de la prison d'en face J'entends tous les ragots Et les bruits des autos Boulevard Arago Qui passe Nice old sluices 10k to go Sur les toits des Talk maisons later. Qui servent d'horizon de la tour au monde par L'hiver on voit les gens dans les maisons d'en face L'été les marronnières les cachots prisonniers et les bruits du quartier s'effacent Quand l'école a fermé, combien ont dû penser au jour de la rentrée des classes? En regardant le mur, j'imagine à sa place les grillages ouvragés d'un parc abandonné. Explosant de rosiers d'espace Les grillages ouvragés D'un parc abandonné Où les arbres emmêlés sont là En regardant le mur de la prison d'en face Le cœur un peu serré D'être du bon côté Du côté des autos Je passe Et du toit des maisons Qui ferment l'horizon Un morceau de la tour Des pas Thank uh...